Bye-bye. All right, we are going live to Cornwall, I believe, for the world's most expensive daiquiri. Welcome to the stage, Tristan and Craig Harper. Oh, oh, is it going to work? Is it going to work? Are we going to have some technical difficulties? Let's see. Oh, oh. Yay! Hello! Hello. 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 Can you hear us okay? How are you guys? It looks a, bit, yeah, a little bit tinny, but okay. Yeah, You're a little... quite sunny. That's what I'm going to say. So, can you, can you hear us? Yeah, can we, can, we can hear you, and, and, and the good thing is we can't really see Craig because he's blocked by sunlight, but I don't think that's a bad problem. Obviously, right. <laughs> you need to see you've got the sunshine behind you. That's an important part of this transaction, obviously. Right, so uh, tell you about what we've that's got. That's better, we've got, thank you. We've, we've got a flagon here of uh, navy rum. We've yes. got a date stamp. Amazing. Um, Amazing. October, October 1955 on it. We're going to make a daiquiri out of it because we've already drank it neat um it just seems like a blasphemous way of consuming it um and basically we love you uh, so how, how was it how, how was it when it okay. came out was so, it good we're going to start with the measure for this stuff <laughs> oh right, that's a full 50 mil daiquiri <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be 20 mil yeah, don't That's worry, the beaver chicken pay. that goes. Um, lime juice. We're going to do a, a, six, a, six, a, six, a six to one ratio daiquiri. So I'm going to do about like 10 of, ten of the lime. <laughs> don't do that behind you, Tristan. And then like five or six mil or seven mil, I don't know. Some sugar, some sugar, some sugar, some sugar in it. Ice. I'm not taking that. Oh, yeah, take it. That's ultra blasphemy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll do it CGI style. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> what is this? this is how you treat. Oh a yeah. Right. Is it Friday? Oh, it is Friday. Friday. Fantastic. Friday. Oh, here's to that. Pineapple <laughs> wear. <laughs> <Bear's got eyes. laughs> Wonderful. This is probably my favorite daiquiri win ever. <laughs> how is it? So so boys, before you pass out the sun. Why are you locked in a studio when you can be here? Look, look at this. Come on now. Well, did you invite us, Craig? I probably want to ask you questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me take the phone off. No, we bit. want to ask both of you questions. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, let, me, let me try and flip the camera around. Oh, wait a sec. No. Nope. This is great to leave. <laughs> we just got a crotch shot. <laughs> Was it mine or his? You can tell quite easily. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, camera, now I can just see camera, people drinking beer. Camera. There we go. Awesome. Oh, Everyone's boy, quite it's mushy brilliant. Sitting there with the mushy. <laughs> <laughs> so right, it looks so like it's actually beautiful then, down I, there. I, I reckon you've got a lot of questions. <laughs> well, well yeah, frankly, <laughs> we're, 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 right now we're just outstanding by the, the wonderful that is the uh, Blue Drink Boys. <laughs> Yeah, that's us. Well, the first question is how much do they manage to drink behind Tristan's back when he's paying for it? It's quite a lot. And it was delicious. <laughs> so I'll tell you about, do you want me to tell you a little bit about this, the baby? Yeah, absolutely. Um, please do. Absolutely, please do. So, so I, I bought it um, on whiskey.auction. You might have heard of it. Um, I think around about five or six years ago. And at the time, I didn't own a rum bar. And I was just like, look, I'll buy this, maybe drink it one day, or maybe flip it. And then I got a rum bar. Um, here in, we're in Cornwall, by the way, on, on Paul's left beach. I don't know if you noticed. Well, we beach. thought you were in uh, you know, <laughs> London on the Thames, you know, we just presumed. <laughs> and, um, and then when, when we got the rum bar, we were like, oh, God, this is perfect. We'll wait for the anniversary of Black Top Day. 
it seemed like a long way away at the time, and now you can put it in a book. You put it in the book. So my rum book. Oh, I got a rum book. Quote. Hold on, um, hold on. So, I have it here. I have it here. So rum, rum fans may know Tristan C Stevenson's name from the Curious Bartender, hold on. the Rum I, Revolution. I have some Clarence what, says you are top of it, which I, I know is not last evening. Titles. I'm really, really happy. Never happened to Um So when I wrote the rum book, and hold it was on. only today when I was like. Trying to I've got do the some research and remem Can remember. Can I get the, the, the team to share us up? Say again. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I've, I've got it. I'm advertising for you, Tristan. Yeah, thank you. So it was, it was dawn. It was today. I was like, I need to fucking brush up on some of this stuff um, because I'm going to be talking <laughs> to the people in the rum bar here and also to you guys about, you know, the history of, of the Navy and, oh, and the ration and everything. And so I was clicking through the rum bar, um, which I wrote like five years ago. And lo and behold, I found a passage where I actually said, I've got a flag and a rum and I plan on opening it in a few years time on the 31st of July when it's the 50th anniversary of Black Top Day. And now here we are. So it's a proper prophecy. Um, I am prophetic, <laughs> not pathetic. I love it. <laughs> like yeah, That's okay. Yeah. So, so and, and Dawn, I, I like, Mitch, I've caught a bit of what you're of what you've been doing today i've been in and about moving around a lot but i've heard bits of it and it's fascinating because the obviously the recipe is changed it's inconsistent it, it you know it's whatever they can get hold of or whatever the taste preferences are jamaica was in jamaica was out and so on so yeah. this one we've got the and you might be able to help more because we've got the date stamp of 1955 on it which led us to think yeah. that it was probably in barrel for at least 15 17 years something like that um, before it got put into the flagons and we we tasted it and it's like super woody like it's one of the woodiest spirits i've ever had it's dark yeah. and it's short, I poured it out it's like looking at ben so Street. there is a but then the rum kicks in doesn't so it yeah. and the rum flavor comes in and it it's <laughs> yeah. got like a chocolate sweetness at the end yeah so, so there, there definitely is a story between the 1955 flagons, and this is one of the things that I'm researching at the moment, Tristan. And and I think, based on everything I've read of yours, it's a, it's a real like starstruck moment to to meet you on here. But I think we'd geek out a lot about these flagons that I'm researching at the moment. So, basically, in 1955, there was a whole shipment of flagons that were sent to Antwerp. Um, so they were sent sent over to Antwerp after World War Two. For some reason, they weren't drunk. No one knows why, but a whole load of these 1955, 1954 flagons survived. And then in around 1967, got sent back to the UK. Now, that yeah. seems to tie in with the time and where there was a big In 2020, one was definitely in drunk in Paul's death in Cornwall. That's what yeah. <laughs> and now it's made its way to Cornwall. So, you know, <laughs> this, this flagman really didn't see what was coming for it. But, uh, <laughs> it wasn't expected to be Craig Harper and Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> but... But you I know what? I, need to I bet, I bet I wish it could be. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Is I'm going to put the disco it? lights on because I feel we need to be in more party action with you guys. Can we Can we get a little pan out to the, the t disco lights? We I've need, got just need, for you, Craig. We need to turn off the big lights, lights to get, get this going. No, we should, oh, we should get some bubbles going for oh, the guys. We'll get some bubbles for we'll the boys welcome as well. you to our social bubble. You can be as part a, of our social of, bubble. There's a lot of wood in it. Like It's got wood chips in it. We've got bubbles and everything. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. you, I know, I, when you were bubble, guys. Earlier, you're when in. You're to the, the, um, when you're awesome. talking, when you're talking to the boss, yeah. when you're talking to him, you, he mentioned how it's not oh, proper unless awesome. it's got wood in it, right? And, and does yours actually have physical wood? Did you get that question? We, we all <laughs> Sorry, it. I forgot I was the, not being serious. The, mi the microphone cut out for a second. <laughs> yeah, so, you, so you basically back, asked back, me back. if I got wood in it. Is that correct? <laughs> Let me go to my Jack speak to just interpret that in the correct way. No, no, the post way. The post <laughs> like, I can interpret that for you, Don. I definitely have. <laughs> but no, John, John, you know the the, Bo the boatswain guy, the boatswain guy you had on earlier. He was saying how it's not proper, it's not a proper tot unless you've got wood chips in it. And like we've Very definitely right. got that in this. Like every <laughs> mouthful is a little surprise, is an exfoliant. Yeah, do, do, yeah, yeah. Do you get a bit of wood in every mouth? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at Dawn's lovely hat. I'm got Dawn. Dawn, seriously, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Craig started it. <laughs> you clearly didn't watch our fever dream TWE. No, I didn't see that. No. <laughs> never Craig watched started. me online. You know, it's, it's too imposing for him. <laughs> Puts him off his next bit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> For now, for now. <laughs> That's so, not even going down I mean, here, Don. That's what's happening. We're just getting started. <laughs> I love it. And I love you guys so much. And you know, this the, what, what makes me laugh is this we 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 done this whole sort of 24 hours, and then Craig and I were doing a little sort of pasting online for some people. And Craig's like, yeah, I'm gonna be sharing a little bit of that uh, flagon with Tristan next week. I was like, I think you should have a daiquiri with us. And Craig very generously said, yeah, I'll, I'll buy a daiquiri, 25 minutes I mean, daiquiri from Tristan. <laughs> all, all, all the staff in his run bar are disgusted by the suggestion, so we'll be turned up to the neighbor. <laughs> But well, we better make sure we take it, right? Yeah, that's that, that'd be more wasteful. Absolutely. It's <laughs> 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 you two. I love it. Fairly important. It's to you guys. Are you are you going to join us at the end? Can we get the sun behind us? Yeah. Yeah. Get the sun. We we want the sunset shot. You know the romantic uh, shot of you two enjoying a daiquiri together, which is clearly Corona thing. Do you want us to send you pictures later on? Is that what? You Absolutely. <laughs> I will share them online. One this is next by I. One of us is sand in her face. Yeah, it will be pretty. Yeah, exactly. it, it, is it a full moon tonight? Well, that happened about an hour ago, man. Euphemistically, <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. Oh my god, no, brilliant. You guys are absolutely wonderful. I think uh this is one of the funniest. I think I think we have to go to Cornwall. This uh yeah. um, <laughs> the day you've had quite a lot of uh, cuts if you had in between rumps. What was that, Greg? <laughs> how, how many cups of coffee have you had to have between rums? Actually, do you know what? We've had one half a cup each because this morning we were so behind schedule. <laughs> we were like, I was like, I'm still typing the session plan. <laughs> what do we say to everyone? <laughs> what questions do we ask? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we, we, we were a little behind, so half a cup of coffee each. So this is pure sugar right now that we're offering on it. And uh, Deliveroo does that, that uh, also does up a my job. delivery. It, it, it's working pretty good. And Deliveroo fucked up my delivery, so can everyone just put that online that Deliveroo fucked up my delivery? <laughs> so we don't have pizza? It's coming back because Dawn phoned them. <laughs> what else we got? Long time. We have got that, that's from Ooh. Dawn's story as well. She sold me that. So you, but Mitch is not like that one. <laughs> long, it's long pond. I love a little long it says, pond. It says Gregalicky 51 on it, but it's not. Uh, long pond. <laughs> there you go. Long pond 15 year old at 69% ABV. It's super awesome, that one. It's super awesome. <laughs> That's the preferred uh, drinking That's also delicious. Too. <laughs> That's, too, That's too good for Navy rations, in my opinion. <laughs> Guys, man is never so it has been... <laughs> That's always Guys, it's been super emotional. We fucking love you. You guys are legends. Thank you very much. Have a Thank great you. day. And we'll see Thank you, you guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. I love bye. you. I love you both. I'll see you both. very soon. Love you, love Cheers. you, love you. Wow. They're awesome. That was... <laughs> we have to go to Cornwall. Everyone. Everyone. After, after Trailer Happiness, we're going to Cornwall. That's the that's the after after party. So, um, so um, yeah. We're starting a trailer. And then if we uh, head down to Cornwall about 6 o'clock, we should be there. Should helicopter should be picking us up because by that point we'll be famous stars. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, a helicopter will pick us up. 48 hours of rum. <laughs> Here we go. Um, <laughs> now, before we introduce our next speaker, we have a very special video to play from one of my uh, favorite rum people in the world, Martin Kate uh, from Smuggler's Cove, who's actually in this video at a, at a new bar in California with Isaac Shumway at California Gold, and we'd love to play you this amazing 
blacktop video that they made for us. So uh, cheers to Martin and Isaac. Ah. Ooh, boy, I sure love the taste of full body, rich blended rum, but gosh, they're so inconvenient to drink. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Isaac. What's that? This black top rum. Black top rum? And now it comes in a bottle. You don't have to do that anymore. Say, would you mind making me a delicious and refreshing beverage with this terrific rum right here at California Gold in San Rafael, California? First, we start off with honey. And then a little fresh pressed ginger. Ooh, delicious and fresh. That's right. And that's where the wine comes in, too. Oh, a little Peruvian brandy pisco. This is so exciting. I had no idea you could make cocktails with rum. I think he's one of those flare bartenders I hear so much about. And then the white house soda to the gin. Fresh ginger, 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 and lime. They will make sure it. Wow! I had no idea cocktails could be so delicious here at California Gold, Centerville, California. Thanks, Isaac. Thanks, Black Top Rum. How good is Martin Kate? <laughs> What a legend. I what love a legend. that video. And Isaac Shumway, thank you so much for that video. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, <laughs> we've been, honestly, we've been so impressed. So for the 50th anniversary of Black Top Day, we invited 50 bartenders from around the world uh, to make some cocktail videos. And we were, we were stunned. It was yeah, like, we were... <laughs> absolutely. I think I haven't laughed so much or been so impressed for such a long time. I mean, we, we love the bar industry. We want to support it through these really, really tough times. So please... If we can say anything and any message comes home tonight besides rum love, um, please support your bars yeah. because they're super important to all of us um, for all of our jobs. Um, so, you know, please, and please support because it's tough out there. Yeah. And I can't wait to go to California, go and visit California Gold in San Rafael. It's going to be amazing.